Well, dangerous heart condition affects one in 500 people in the United States, and you might never know you have it until it's too late. And for your life, your health, Heather Simonson shows us how a new heart center is changing that. What I loved about it. Mark Seastrand kind of teaches at UVU just four weeks after open heart surgery. My goal was to try to get to that class, and I made it. He's extremely lucky, and also extremely lucky that he doesn't have you know, permanent brain damage. Two years ago, while in Orlando on a family trip, he had a massive heart attack. The no morning, I went down, and I had a you know, a, a skull fracture and bleeding on the brain. Physicians at Intermountain Medical Center, Heart Institute's new hypertrophic cardiomyopathy center diagnosed him with HCM. It's a genetic condition where the heart muscle becomes abnormally thick. The thick heart muscle here, it's probably twice as thick as it should be. Some people who have it never have a problem. For others, it can be catastrophic. If someone just dies suddenly out of nowhere, sometimes on a basketball court, and that's where it becomes, you know, very well known. The center has specialists in HCM and offers unique research opportunities. DNA samples from heart patients and their families are stored here at LDS Hospital. Scientists test them for genetic abnormalities and match them with clinical information. The registry already has over 32,000 biological samples. Looks great. A strong beat. But yeah, looks good. Mark's surgery last December was a success. That bottleneck's gone. He and his wife went on a dream trip to Israel last June and now have peace of mind. She was always worried about me. To not have that be the case now is, you know, it's, it makes you feel much better. And can live life <laughs> to the fullest. For Your Life, Your Health, I'm Heather Simonson. The center has been designated a national center of excellence, joining just two dozen elite programs in the nation to earn that prestigious certification. 